Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to Small Land. Our adventure for today consists of climbing a tree. Now, I know what you're thinking, man. I know what you're thinking. Trees are so tall, we're so very small. Why are we climbing a tree? Apparently, on top, you can build your base or a base. Not too sure. We'll have to see how it works out. But as you can see, we are definitely out of space. Our last two crafting stations from the last video, we had to put on the back deck. I can't actually close them in because I can't put a foundation here. So they're kind of open to the elements. All the rain comes in on them. Kind of damages them. We've got the bugs and creatures are open to destroying them. So it's time to move, man. You guys left me some comments and said, before I find a place for a base, please check out the trees. So that is what we're doing today. Not messing with the ants. Please don't mess with the ants. Now there is quite a few trees around. There's only certain ones you can build in though. They gotta be the ones that have the mushrooms on the sides. So like this one here, you can't build in, but that one back there you could. This one in front of us we can. There's one over here. They're kind of scattered all over the map. Now, we haven't done too much exploring around the map, but some of the new stuff we recently unlocked involves having flints. There's a beetle. It does not involve a beetle. What the what? Please get me up out of here. See, this is why we need to live in a tree. <laughs> Hopefully, there's no creatures up there. But a lot of the stuff for the flint is down there. We got the bark, the flint, and all that good stuff. So, I was thinking this tree right here would be perfect. There's a little ramp that goes from here directly down to the beach so it'll be very easy for me to go down there and get more resources for repairing our stuff and then we can always explore the map later now there is the glider suit that we haven't unlocked yet i think it's at the the person up here i think but our tree is going to be i think right over here so it's not too far to go over there and then wait we're going the wrong way oh we're going totally the opposite direction i mean it's fine it's fine our tree is going to be over here we got that person there. I'm not sure what kind of armor they have, but we will find out. So the first things first, get over here. Just kind of like scale up the side of the tree. Now we got to go up the mushrooms, and there's supposed to be an elevator. <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure what an elevator does. I mean, okay, I know what an elevator does, but in small land, it's supposed to take you from the top to the bottom. So that should be how we get up and down after our first initial ascent. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm hoping there's going to be a guy up here that tells us what to do. If not, we will just climb to the top and see from there. The problem is, it's like parkour all the way up. You can kind of see the mushrooms. There's some bees as well. I am not one for jumping. It's not my thing, but we'll see how it goes. Guessing we just go right here. Now, can we run up this vine the whole way? Oh, dude, maybe this is the easy way to do it. Do they all have the vine? I thought we had to jump on the mushrooms all the way up. But we'll see, man. We'll see. You're supposed to be able to move your base from one location to another as well. Wait, is this it? We're not building here, are we? This is not very high at all. The spirit of the great tree is listening. What is it that you wish? Okay, well. I guess we want to claim the tree. Is that how it works? And move my tree encampment here. I do not have a tree encampment yet. Well, I know. I gotta build one. To claim your first tree and make your encampment, you must climb to the top of a great tree and speak to me there. Speak to you there, dude. We are down here face to face right now. Can we just... <laughs> skip all the small talk, dude. Okay. Well, is what it is. So, yeah. There's supposed to be a place to have an elevator to go up and down. And then, I'm guessing there's no creatures up here. I'm hoping. I'm not too sure about the moving your base in between trees. That uh, kind of seems overpowered because I think it moves everything at once. Like I said, I just did minimal research to see what it was all about and then figured I would jump in and try it out. Hopefully, it's going to be a very easy run all the way up. Now, I'm not too sure about teams either, right? Can I please? Look, I'm a small guy. That is a very large jump. Am I supposed to be jumping up that? Dude, look, man. Wait, is this... Nope, we can't go up there. There we go. Holy crap, dude. Put another step in there. I'm just saying. Little legs, man. Little legs. But yeah, I'm not too sure what happens with your tames that you have. Now, if you... Oh, get too far away from your tames. <laughs> look, dude, look. I told you about parkour and me. But if you get too far away from your tames, they despawn, right? They kind of release themselves. So, I don't know if we can bring them up top with us. That would be fantastic. Kind of keep them safe. We will see once we get up here. If we get up here. That's the thing. So if we die, right? Say we fall off. It, it's probably going to happen. Let's just say when we fall off. Does our stuff land up here? Or down there? 
Some games, your death marker goes to where you were last, like, sure-footed, right? Where you were last standing. Some games put it down where you die at. I am not sure. Hopefully it'll be down where we die at. Can we actually explore all these? We could walk on them. See, once we had the wingsuit, man, that would be fantastic just to jump off here and then glide to wherever. Now, I don't know if there's a timer or if it's just by how high you are, right? About how far you glide, but that would definitely make around, getting around the map a lot easier. All right, look, there's a big jump right there. I am not looking forward to this. Okay, probably should have checked my stamina before that. I mean, it's kind of neat that you can climb this high. It's also terrifying. You get a decent look of the land as well. I thought about that tree over there, but these spiders are, like, right here, man. Ah, dude, we really got to get down and get some of that silk here soon. I'm trying to put that off as much as possible just because it's it's spiders, dude. Look, the little jumping ones in the last video we had plenty of problems with. I do not want to have to deal with any of the big ones, the full size, you know? We are still going up. Holy crap, dude. Could this tree be any taller? All right, dude, I think we're on the home stretch here. I saw the... Little blimp, or whatever you call it, right? From down there a little bit? Yeah, right there! That's gotta be where we're going to. So that must be part of the elevator system then, right? It kinda takes us up and down. Game world saved. Yeah, good time to save it, man, right before I fall and die. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, it's raining! Please do not get slippery. We're almost here, man. We're almost here. Oh, dude! That is quite the climb. Could you imagine having to come up and down like that every time you want to come to base? Alright, so, where's the dude to talk to, man? Yep, I just saw you downstairs. Wait, do we want to claim this tree? Are all the trees the same? That's a big area to build at. Are there spiders up here? Or bees? I don't think so, right? It's just us? Oh, dude, if we are actually safe, that'll be so nice not having to worry about our base getting destroyed. All right, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. We'll claim this. Yeah, we're thirsty. I, I understand, man. We just climbed the whole tree. Brought a little bit of ant for us to munch on. That should be good there. All right, Junior. Give me this tree. We've claimed this great tree. Our encampment is private. It should be, right? We're playing on single player. So this is how we get up and down, right? It's a tree butler. What can you do for me? So we can go down to the root level. Ask you something about the great tree. Let's ask him something first. How can I let other small folk build on my great tree? How can I prevent other small fo folk from messing with my great tree? Okay, look. These are things for multiplayer, so we don't have to worry about them. We're in a single player world. And then, can I take my encampment from this great tree to another? That I'm interested about. You certainly can. All you need to do is find another great tree, one that has not been claimed, and then claim it the same way we've done this one. Your encampment will be instantly transferred. Dude, that's gotta be overpowered, man. If it moves all your stuff exactly, you can kind of move around the map to where resources are, right? How is that even possible? There are things in this world beyond our understanding. No kidding. Alright, let's do... Take me down to the root level. Yep, let's go now. Nice, nice. Kind of sketchy. I'm wondering how far this goes down. Maybe it goes to that other platform we saw that other dude at. I mean, it's still kind of down far, right? Oh, there's the bees, man. I knew there was something. There's always something in the tree. Yep. Please don't mess with me. Please don't. I mean, there's enough room up here. Oh, is that it? Are you good? Are you going to wait here for me? So yeah, I can go up to the top. Yeah, so what do we do with our teams, man? Can we use the whistle and have them teleported up there? Again, if you leave your team for too long, it'll kind of disappear, right? All right, well, let's do this. Let's go back up. We've got stuff on us for building some storage. Let's go back to the top. We'll set up a couple of those, see how that kind of works out, and see if there's a radius, right, of where we can build and where we can't. And then I'll start moving some stuff, and we'll try to start building our base today. I don't know if we'll get it totally finished, but we'll go ahead and start moving some stuff. Might need to do some re uh, more resource harvesting, right? Because we're going to be using the bark. Kind of a mix between the bark and the normal leaves to build our base. That way we got some brown and some green. Alright, let's do this. You know what we could do, too? We could tame a grasshopper 
on the way back over one of the trips, just to see what happens with him. Alright, let's build... We've got the loom we gotta do, but we need the silk and stuff for that. Let's do this. So we can build over here, not over there. It's pretty much on the flat area that's kind of, it's not really lit up, but it looks like it's a, a lighter color. Like this. So all over here we can build. Dude, that is a huge base, man. We can actually put like the door right there. And it's flat. It's nice, man. It's nice. So let's do this. Let's put this as close to right here as we can. Now we will destroy these once we get our base built. Insufficient materials. Cool, so that's three. How is our inventory now? We'll start leaving some stuff. We still gotta run back to base, so we need to keep something for protection. We don't need the torch. We don't need that. Probably need... <laughs> probably need the bandages. Let's leave that as well. We're gonna take the... Take the spear. We actually leave that as well. Again, I'm trying to make it to where we have... We need the hammer so we can dismantle our other base. So that should be good there. We definitely need the food. Cool. I'm going to do a couple trips. Bring some stuff up here. It's getting towards evening. Now there was an update with the game, right? A lot of stuff you can change on your... Oh, there's a little marker there for us. That you can change on your game settings. The only thing I did was made the days longer. The days were only 30 minutes. They are now 60. So I'm not sure if that means nighttime will be longer as well. But we are kind of whittling down on our daylight. Let me move some stuff. Morning time comes. We will start probably right here, building our base, and see what we can kind of come up with. Uh, we're going to need a ton of resources. I can already see it now. Take me down, please, good sir. I tell you what, I've done one trip already. Let's go ahead, try to tame this grasshopper. It is getting late in the day. He might disappear soon. Junior, let me feed you real quick. I don't have my hammer, but would you please don't run from me? I do got the sword. All we have to do is get his health down low. I don't think it really matters what we do it with. As long as we don't kill him. I'll tell you what, he gets around fast, dude. He's going to disappear here soon because of the time of day. Okay, I was hoping we wouldn't kill him in one hit. <laughs> That'll be horrible, man. Hit him one time with something. Wait, there we go. Tame him. Are you tamed? You are. All right, let's do... I want you to stay. But that'll be a lot easier for me. Are we stuck? For me, for getting around. I tell you what, it's such a long run from here over there. Make sure his health gets up some. We need to get out of here before his cousin comes by. The night one. Nocturnal one, dude. I tell you what, it is not safe. That dude is so aggressive. Get out of there, man. What are you doing? All right, let's do this. Let's take all. Take all of you. We good? We all right? How are we on space? Let's go ahead and start breaking these down. Dismantle you. We need to build one more over there. Dismantle you as well. And I think... Oh, that one's full. That one's good, okay. Yep, I'm not sure what that was. I think that was the... Yep, okay, look, look! We are out of here! <gasps> no! Dude, I'll tell you what, we just got... Dude, it's expensive, man! We just got him tamed! Well, that was gonna make it a lot easier for the remaining trips, but... Is what it is. See, that's why I'm so glad we are not living down here anymore. Give me all that stuff, man. Boy, I'll tell you what, how's my inventory? We got some more slots. All right, man. Well, that didn't work out like I thought it was going to. <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked out like I thought it was going to. But, all right, I guess by morning time, I should have enough of the stuff up top. I'll break all this down later. Not worried about bringing our tables right now because we need to... We need to get, like, the structure made, right? Oh, we need to figure out about the bed. So here's something I'm kind of wondering is... Say we, we have our bed up there, right? We're, I mean, we're going to have our bed up there. If we die, and the elevator is at the bottom, is there a way to call the elevator back up? I don't know if that's a thing, man. And I left my torch at the top up there. Well, I'll tell you what. Ah, dude, that is a fantastic sunrise. Not too bad, man. Kind of overlooking the water. I like this tree. I like having it right here, man. So we are making our last trip over here to grab the remaining stuff. I did, I think it was like three trips throughout the night. I tell you what, dude, the nightlife, it is not safe down here at night. But I think I have everything. We should be able to get it in this trip. I went ahead and built one of the lean-tos, the one that's covered. 
So we do have a respawn point up there on top of the tree. So our bed over here we'll get rid of. I kind of wish we had stuff together to make one more of the treats for the grasshopper, but it's fine, man. It's fine. I think we're kind of moving on past the grasshopper. The other two things I want to tame is the ladybug and then that damselfly, right? We've got the stuff from the lightning bug or the firefly that we should be able to use to tame it. We'll probably do that maybe in the next video or one after. We still got to visit the spider over here to get some silk soon. That is a whole, whole other issue, man. We good? I think we're all right still. Those little spider ants, man. Those things are everywhere at night. They were causing problems doing the runs in between. But let's get up here. We'll finish dismantling the base. And that'll be kind of it for over here. It's kind of sad to see, man. I mean, it's nice not having to deal with these guys every time I come back to base. But it's kind of our, our starting base, man. Nice to be over here. Right, let's grab that. As you can see, I already got rid of the whole back deck there. Will you please leave me alone? If I get far enough away, he should leave us alone. Nope. One last fight, huh? I tell you what, if I die, the grasshopper! I was gonna say we need to tame him, but I forgot we don't have any stuff. If I would have died right here and got sent all the way back to the tree, you would never know it. I would have cut it out. <laughs> we would have just started over there. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. But yeah, all we got left in here is... Oh, I totally forgot about that. The cauldron, and then our table, and then the bed. Everything else is gone. Ah, dude, it's nice, man. It's nice. All right, let's get rid of all this. Now, can we use the range feature for picking stuff up, too? Does that work? It does. So, everything in the area. So we should just go ahead and break all this down to pick it all up at once. Make it a little bit easier. Is it raining again? It is always raining over here, too. All right, so we are back up top. Let's grab some bark. Now, everything is totally scattered. It's, uh, it's a mess, dude. It's such a mess. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So the main thing we need is bark and wood, and that'll get the base down. Now I think what we're going to do is go ahead and do the whole base in regular wood. Like this. And then we'll do either the roof or maybe some of the sides with the green, just to change it up. I mean, I think we're safe up here, so we shouldn't have to worry about it too much, I hope. I want to do a lot of the, the curve pieces on the ends, just to kind of change it up. So let's start off with this. We can set it up high or flat down low. I want to go kind of high. Let's see. This is where we come in. And that'll be our stairs for the entrance. Well, maybe. Let's turn it a little bit. That'll work there. Now, we got a lot of space. We don't need to go crazy. We can always expand later. Let's just <laughs> try to get some base, some base of the base set up, you know what I mean? All right, let's do those. Let's change this to the curved ones. Why does that seem weird? Because it wasn't snapped right. There we go. Do the same thing over here. Easy. Clip where I want you to, not where you want to. There we go. There we go. Cooperate, man. Cooperate. It's kind of weird. So we got one, one, two, one, one, two. So that is even. Let's do some stairs. Do we want to do... Let's do some of the, the grass ones. Now, do we have any wider stairs, or is it just the one flavor? It's just the one flavor. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So there we go. That's not too bad there, okay? Now what I'm thinking is... I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. Let's make sure all of the wood is going the same direction. No, what I was thinking was, if I come out here a little bit... And then we kind of curve it into another wider part back here. I don't know if we're going two stories or one story. I kind of want to do two stories. Or one story, right? Kind of like a building arc. One one story that has a balcony inside. So that way our workstation and stuff is all super high ceilings. But then we got a balcony for our bed and stuff like that. Let's let's probably try to do that. Now for that to work properly, we should probably go ahead, like I was thinking, and do this. We'll do a 
twist here. Nope. Not this either. Let's do the one here. Not there. I gotta learn the building stuff in this game. You're not. You're not clipping where I want. I could just put another regular foundation down. And clip it to that. Do you want to come out one or two? Come out two. Is that not a full piece to fit in the corner? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So that would change that up a little bit. I want to go one more deep before we put that out. Just so that we have enough room for all of our, our building stuff, right? All of our tables. Why is this being so weird with the clip? Can we... Hold on, what's this down here? T. That's not what I was thinking. And then what is this? Maybe that's going to make it better for building? We'll do this piece here in the middle. We didn't have this problem before. It's something with this update, I think, kind of screwed with the clipping? Maybe? Possibly? Now I don't know if we can put a wall right there. I'm kind of hoping. That's kind of the hopes. And then we'll come out one more. We're building small here, don't forget. <laughs> Tiny base! Alright, so that should be good there. And then we'll go straight back. Probably just a couple foundations, because this is going to be where our balcony is up top here. So it doesn't need to be too deep. Maybe right there. So let's go ahead, not that, fill this in. Mirror it on that side, if we can. Oh, dude, I didn't think about that. We should have checked to see if there's enough room to come out over here. I think there is. We might be all right. So, I had some issues. As you can see, we're on foot. Our inventory is empty. Only means one thing. <laughs> we died, dude. Oh, we died. I ran out of bark, man. I came down here. I forgot my hammer up there. Ah, the beetles. The main thing for the big beetles down here is the hammer. That's what takes them out. So I ended up dying. I was fighting that in a wasp. I found a new little area, though. It's it's luckily right by our bag. So we'll take a look and see what's up there. But there were some screws and a couple other things that we needed. We can get you guys to leave me alone, please. And thank you. So I kind of want to see what's over here before it gets too late in the day. And we need to grab a ton of bark. That's the main thing we're missing. I got almost enough for all of the foundations. But we're talking about using the bark for the walls as well. I was thinking about doing... Yep, I see you in there. I was thinking about doing the green foundations. And then using the brown for the walls. And then the green for the roof. Just to kind of change it up. I don't know, man. We'll have to see. Where is... Right up here. By this thing. I saw this. And promptly got killed. Here's my stuff. Let's grab our stuff first, just in case. Take all? Yep, fighting over there. So we got some screws? Is that all it is? Oh, I thought there was something else over here. What killed that? The beetle. Yep, the water bug. That's what also killed me, man. Let's grab this stuff. We need those poison sacks for... Ah, oh, what is it? The... The club, right? That club that we were gonna build? Let's heal up. I'm almost out of food, so that kind of sucks. Yep, there we go. How you like that? What is over here? Oh, there's a bunch of bunch of wood. Might as well grab this. I mean, we definitely use it. That's one of the other resources we need. Almost looks like a nest. It's kind of a terrifying thing. Is there birds in this game? Looks like a bird's nest there, right, right there. Yep. Okay, okay, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. Maybe not. 
This is where I need the spear. Luckily, our armor is really good for that. Cool, some more poison glands. All right, man, I'm going to farm up a ton of this. <laughs> a ton of this flint. No, not the flints. We're, we're good on flint for a change. A ton of this bark down here and try to get back up without dying. All right, let's work with that. Now, I do have some more I need to put back here. I think I'm going to go one more deep, but I don't want to use up all of our wood. I kind of got all the wood that was down there, all the bark, but we're going to need that for the outside, too. So it's kind of a kind of a scarce resource. Let's start building some of the walls and see how that's going to work out. Now, we don't have any of the curved grass ones. Kind of sucks is what it is, though. So we need some of these, right? Wait, so there's this one. Oh, it's different windows. Oh, that window looks fantastic, man. So is there the convexed ones? I don't see them. There's not. Well, that kind of sucks, man. That's the whole point of having this right here. I mean, that looks kind of weird. It's going the, uh, going the wrong way, right? Or is the inside and the outside the same? Let's try something. It's a thing. The walls are the same, or they're different. It's the same. They don't line up. The pieces, right? The top? How does that look? I think it might be all right. We're going to kind of go with it. We'll see how that kind of goes as we uh, get further in. All right, let's do this. We need... This right here. And we're going to do a window right here. It trips me out, man. It's, <laughs> it's the same but different. We're doing a door there. Now we are going to put a deck out here soon, soon too. We're going to come out just one more. But I want to wait until this stuff is out of the way. I mean, we might be able to do it now. Let's try to get rid of these. Let's see. Pick them up. Pick them up. And then we're just going to do... This here. And then I want to do some railings up here. Oh, we got the curved ones we could do. Oh, dude, we gotta do that. Let's do that. Let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this. And let's do the curved foundations. Please? Please? There we go. And then one more here. And now we do the curved railings. Oh, that is gonna look very, very nice. Let's put some lights out here as well. Nice, man. Nice. Now, will, there, will the railings connect to these stairs? I don't want to do that. I'm just kind of curious if it will. Oh, they will. there's some right here. Looks a little bit weird. I kind of like it free-floating. Let's do... another wall. We've already got one window there. It's going to be a flat wall. And then what is it? That's for a... the doorway. Where's the door? Right here. Let's use this one. It's like a little hobbit door, man. A little round one. Ah, dude, I like it! So what I plan on doing... is doing this two... walls high. And that's gonna be... how tall it is in here. What are we missing? Are we out of... bark again? We've got a little bit. Oh, we've got plenty. We need to grab some regular wood. But yeah, we'll do two high in here. We'll do our roof. That'll slope up. And then up here will probably be four high. And then we'll have another roof up top. So that'll be our balcony inside. But all down here, I want to put our workstations. So we'll get some of those set out here soon just to be able to repair our stuff. Let's grab some wood first. 
If I can find it, dude, our storage is so messed up, man. Oh, it is so messed up. I like it, man. I like it. All right, let's try this. Let's do some more of these. And then for the roof. What does this one look like? That's a chimney. It's kind of neat. I wonder if it has smoke that comes out of it, too. I think we might do the slope down. So we do a slope up. I think this is a regular slope altogether. You know, we could actually do that from here. That'll save us a ton of walls, too. If we do it like this, we'll have room for... How's that gonna look? What are we missing? Probably a little bit of fiber? I want to see how this looks with some of the pillars. That's a reinforced one. Would you clip in, please? Oh, this one's not even clipped. I don't know how that's going to look with the rounded, right? It's kind of overhanging. I mean, that's fine, though. That's fine. That's not too bad. Now, we have to have that two walls high for that to work like that. That's the only thing. Hmm, interesting. Give me a minute. Let me try to figure this out. Dude, we've got some major issues. Holy crap, man, that looks fantastic over there. That sky, the sunset, but it snowed a little bit. That's, uh, that's a thing. So what I'm planning on doing is I went ahead and set out some of these just to kind of judge for size. Now, I want to set out the tannery, and we do have enough room. Maybe. Ooh, we need a lot of space for that. What if we dismantle you? Put you in the corner a little bit more? And then did the tannery. Ah, there we go. Nice. So that's a lot of room there. It's a lot bigger in here than I thought it was going to be, which is fine. Not that big of a deal. We are cold. I know, dude. I know, man. We need a fire. Look at us, man. We're shivering. Look at that, dude. <laughs> that's awesome. We're out of food. We're out of health. We don't have a roof on our place. Let's try to sleep. See if that helps out a little bit. We're too cold to sleep. Do we need to build a fire? We'll build it right there. There we go, buddy. How's that work out for you, man? A little bit of a nap. We're going to wake up super hungry and probably dying from food. I need to cook some food. A storm approaches. Oh, dude, come on, man. This is the worst possible scenario. All right, let's get rid of this and this. Let's grab some of those. Do we have any more of the ant heads? Look, man, I did not think this through whenever we decided to move. I'm just saying I did not think it was going to be this much of a problem. We've got some more of these. I'm not exactly sure where to go for the storm. We don't really have a place to call home, you know? All right, eat some food, man. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be all right. We got a little bit of a shelter there. I'm thinking about narrowing this down a little bit, removing one foundation, moving the curve over, and just having that the inside. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me finish building. We still got some wood and resources quite a bit there, and we'll see where we're at in life. I'm just not too sure what to do about our roof. We could extend this up one more and then just go flat up to where we go up top, then we can put some railings on the outside. It'll be kind of nice. Give us a little bit of a deck on the outside up top. 
for putting some of our decorations and stuff. So that's always an option, you know? Alright, so what we're gonna do is we have the parts we should. So I wanna make it to where we can get in and out up here. So this will go up for our balcony. We're gonna leave one little space there for a doorway. And that's gonna be kind of sectioned off for a outside deck up top. What do we have for some stairs? I wanna be able to get up top there. We'll do these for the moment. Temporarily, it's not staying like that. Don't worry, don't worry. It's just so that I can get up and down. Alright, so that's good up here. Insufficient materials. Wood. We need some more wood. We only got 15 pieces of the bark left. So once that's done, we're kind of done until I go down and get some more. There's 30. Let's grab a little bit more. We're kind of getting low on regular wood, too. We got enough of the fiber, I think. We'll leave that. We'll leave that. Let's leave this. And those make room for stuff that we actually need. All right, let's try that. I had to move the fire up here, dude. I was freezing, man. All right, let's use some of these here. And do one more over here. Then we'll have some of the regular railings right here on the side. And that's kind of done there. I think we're going to have just enough for doing the railings. And then we're going to be out of bark. So that's fine there. That's not too bad there. Like I said, I want to put some stuff out here. For the doorway, I'm not too sure what to do. We'll probably end up using... I don't know if we'll do one of those doors. We're going to have to come out regardless with some walls. Let's see about... We come out like this and put our doorway. We might be able to just do the doorway right here once we remove this. We need to do some more decking in here for sure. Again, this is just for just for getting up to the top. Alright, so what I plan on doing for the door. If it works, we'll do some walls. Wall there. Wall there. And that should allow us to put our doorway. Right there in the middle. Where is... Here we go. This side? We'll have this side going out. And we'll put our door there in the middle. Where is it? Nice, and that'll give us access to get out here. And then as far as the roof, so what we're gonna do is go probably just the... Regular ones? Where is it? Probably like this. Or where our balcony will be. And then we'll do a flat piece on top of that one. So it should still all kind of connect just right. There we go. Nice, man. Nice! Kind of works out. It's not too bad. We'll probably put some railings on top once we get some more. Just to have something up there. But we have this, and then we have that. And then on these sides, it shouldn't be too hard. Close the door, please. The side shouldn't be too hard. We'll do one more high there. And then we got a lot of the kind of side pieces. Like this to work with. To try to get that to kind of connect. If anything, I can always redo it. It's not that big of a deal. And then in between this video and the next one, I'll probably go ahead and... Oh, this side is shorter. Is this one I need to fix? Yeah, we'll make it short like this one. I'll try to get some more of the bark. Fill the rest of this in. And do our balcony. That is a massive house, man. Very, very large. The roofs are kind of cool, man. I like the different parts for building. Makes stuff a ton easier. And then hopefully it doesn't look too weird on the sides here. Want to put some windows and stuff down here. But we definitely got enough room for all of our stations. And we do feel claustrophobic, right? Nice, big, and open. Nice little uh, deck out front. We might actually leave the, the fire, man. Kind of like the way that that looks. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. We got, our, we got ourselves a tree, man. We bought a tree. 
it has been a pain trying to get all the part together for building but I, li I like the parts man i like the way that the building is on it not too sure if i like the design we might end up changing it at the end however we are going to go ahead and leave this one here hope you enjoyed the video as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one